Hello and welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I am Lauren with For The Creatives, helping designers create their own dream design business. Now, if you're wondering why you would use a Wacom tablet for graphic design, in this video, I'm gonna give you three different reasons why it makes your life and work so much easier, quicker, and honestly, more fun. And I'm fully obsessed, if you hadn't noticed, and have been actually using a Wacom for over 11 years. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by Wacom. And I only work with companies I'm very passionate about, and Wacom is one of the few that I get super excited to tell other graphic designers about. Wacom comes from WA for Harmony, Circle, or Japan, and COM is shortened for computer. So that's where you get Wacom. Okay, so the first reason why I use a Wacom is the night and day difference between a Wacom tablet and using a mouse or a trackpad. A mouse makes it so you have to lift up and move when you wanna to go to a different part of the screen. It also is loud and bulky and doesn't go with the natural flow of your hand motions. A Wacom tablet has, however, what is called screen mapping. You can see where the edges of the screen are here and where the tablet actually mirrors your computer screen. So if you wanna go anywhere on your screen, you can just glide your pen over to it. Also, the pen itself is held by a much more natural grip, as opposed to the cramping that can happen when you use a mouse. And when you're using a trackpad on a laptop, it is so hard to get precision when you're using your fingers. So the tablet can hook up to either a desktop or a laptop, either in USB or through Bluetooth. The second reason is the light and handy pen itself. I literally take it everywhere without realizing it. I'll go downstairs to get tea and realize it's still in my hand. And in the newer version of the pen, there is the ability to customize the color ring, which made me super happy because they have different cool colors to choose from. Then the two buttons on the pen can be customized. So I have it being double click and right click, which makes the workflow great and mimics the actual mouse or trackpad. Then when you're doing illustration work or even photo retouching, the pen has over 8,000 pen pressures, if you can even believe that. So you can see that when you hold the pen down softer, it'll be lighter on the page, and when you do harder, it'll appear darker. It gets more thick that way. And the other tip actually acts as an eraser, so it's just like you're using a pencil. The third reason is the different shortcuts that the tablet itself has. So you can customize the buttons to be shortcuts when you're in specific programs or when you're on your desktop to open specific programs or however you would like to customize it. There's also this cool zoom or scroll feature on the circle and you can also use multi-touch tap and zoom on the actual tablet itself. But there's the availability to turn it off if you don't want that there as well. Now one additional cool other feature I just wanted to add is the pen holder has a pen nib remover, which is awesome because on the older version that I had, it was super hard to get the nib out, but now they have a built-in remover, which is so clever. Also, there are a bunch of extra nibs in case you wanna use different points or feelings in your nibs. I used to have a 2015 Wacom Intuos Pro, but recently switched to the newest model of the large, and I'm enjoying the improvements that have been made very much. But with that said, my six-year-old tablet is still in great operational condition, so the durability factor is outstanding, and I'm sure that my older Wacom will have many more years on it as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if it was helpful to you, please hit down on that like button and definitely get yourself a Wacom to help making design even more fun. And if you're looking for help on starting your own design business or getting more clients, check out these videos here with helpful tips for you. Thanks a lot again, I'll see you next time.